Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the empirical rule. So if you have seen my previous video, there I have tried to explain the measure of variation in data where I have explained the range, standard deviation and coefficient of variation and uh, there I have mentioned about uh, the rule which states that if you are using one standard deviation from the mean then you are covering 68% of population. If you are two standard deviation away from the mean, then you are covering 95% observations. And if you are three standard deviation away from the mean, then you are covering almost 99.7% uh, of observation. So this is how it has been represented over here in this perfect bell shaped uh, distribution, uh, which clearly indicates that at the center, you have the mean. And when you are subtracting one standard deviation from the mean, uh, then both on the left hand side and when you add the, it goes on the right hand side, then within this area, this particular area, you have 68% of observation lying uh, in this uh, bell curve or in this shape. So that is what I have tried to explain in the previous video that uh, my mean is 19% and my uh, standard deviation is 10%. Then in that case, if I am subtracting one standard deviation, that means value 10 from 19, uh, then it means 9, starting from 9, and that is what it is here, 9. And when I am adding 10 to 19, that means 29, which is right here in this particular shape, and which will be 29, like here over the in this case. So from 9% to 29%, my 68% of observations are coming and that is what the rule says that uh, in a bell shaped distribution approximately around 68% of the observations are contained within a distance of plus or minus one standard deviation around the mean. So that's why uh, to understand the dispersion or uh, variation in data you, you have both standard deviation and mean as critical component to understand how many observations are lying within one standard deviation and two standard and three standard deviation. And if we try to evaluate it from the perspective of uh, uh, our data, the real time data, then we see that we have these 10 different observation light here in this chart. So if I count it also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Out of 10, there is 3 observations, that means 1, 2, and 3. These 3 observations are outside of 68% of values, which is starting from 9% to 29%. And that is a value which is away from the mean with 1 standard deviation and 68%. Now, seven values are uh, within this area and three values are outside of this area. Then it says around 70% of values is within one standard deviation as per our calculation. And as you can see, 70% is pretty much near to 68% and it validates our rule or this empirical rule that when you have uh, uh, one standard deviation away from the mean, then you have 68% of observation captured within that area. Similarly, to repeat it, uh, if you have two standard deviation away from the mean, then you have 95% of observation. But in this case, since the data set is small, it is kind of covering the entire data uh, when you are away from two standard deviation because two will going to multiply uh, here, in this case 20. So 19 plus 20 is 39, which is outside of chart area. And again, 20, when you are subtracting 20 from 19, that will be minus one, which is again outside of this area. So when you are actually saying that uh, you are taking two standard deviation, however, as per the rule, it is 95%, but because the data set is small, it is kind of capturing 100% of observation when you are two standard deviation away from the mean, which says there is a very less variation in our data. And that is best basically a good thing uh, because then you can take a good concrete decision. But uh, when you are doing or taking a 
good business decision based on a very big population population like let's say for a country and in my previous video i have explained about a situation where you are a retailer and you are trying to create uh, uh, a pair uh, apples for your uh, for the folks out there for your, so that your company can make good uh, uh, returns out of that in that case you are always interested to know uh, what is the average height or average waist or average uh, uh, measurements uh, in in a particular country in that case you can standardize your uh, clothes according to those measurements and then you can decide whether you want to go with the 68% uh, of population which is covering more than half of the population or you want to go with the 95% population or you want to go first with 68% population and for 95% population you still want to study the data and figure out the uh, insights from it and then decide uh, what should be the measurement of your clothes. So in this way you can uh, take a very concrete decision that most of your apparels uh, should be of which height, what should be the waist and all that measurement. In that case you can uh, lower down your cost because you will be able to uh, make or create the apparels in bulk and send it out for most of the users in that particular country. So this is how you can solve some real time problems uh, by using the standard deviation and uh, mean uh, from your data set. So this is an empirical rule uh, I wanted to show you uh, because my last video is related to the empirical rule where I've explained standard deviation and mean. So I hope this additional explanation about uh, the empirical rules, what it means and how it looks like will going to add certain value uh, when you are looking my previous video. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.